up getting these bitter baby mamas. You end up getting yourself in child support. You end up getting hurt. She ends up being vindictive. She ends up trying to keep the child away from you. I'm gonna go ahead and talk about why you need to stop getting the wrong woman pregnant. And this is a mistake that a lot of dudes make, getting the wrong woman pregnant. Now, gentlemen, before you engage in any sexual activity, you gotta be mindful of the consequences. Be more cautious of who you get it in with. I understand the thrill is good, I know it feels great, but when you're skeeting up in her, when you're shooting up the club, gentlemen, <laughs> you gotta think long term. Either one, your pullout game is weak, or two, you just made an irresponsible decision. I made this decision before, but but God bless me, I got lucky. Twice, going unprotected and thinking that it feels great, but if she's a wrong kind of woman. See, before you, before you even get in with a woman, gentlemen, you gotta bet her out. You gotta see, man, could this woman be the mother of my child? Could this woman potentially be a great mother? Because what I'm doing right now is putting myself in harm's way. That's something that you got to take in consideration, gentlemen. Am I, is this woman going to be destroying my life? Could she potentially destroy my life? But again, who knows? Because again, people switch up. But we still have to be mindful and careful. This happens to a lot of dudes. One dude, man, I personally know, he told me about his situation and was beyond hurt because I know what kind of guy he is and his character and he happened to get the wrong woman pregnant and this was a woman that switched up on him out of nowhere and started acting out of pocket and then the moment that she's pregnant and she's about to have the baby a lot of them tend to want to keep the baby and use the baby against this man just just to try to hurt him try to find everywhere to hurt this man and women become very vindictive gentlemen that's why you have to be cautious man you have to vet out these chicks better. A lot of us don't vet better. I made this mistake before. I started seeing certain character flaws in the beginning and those red flags that we don't want to admit and, and take into consideration. Like, mm, this ain't good. I gotta watch this woman very carefully. We have to be do a better job of vetting, gentlemen. And this is why we get ourselves in these baby mama situations and child support situations because we don't vet properly see gentlemen if i were you i understand you want to have a good time you want to see what these streets are looking like but just know when you're out here in these streets the consequences of you having a child or getting potential stds is greater than any other consequence so when you do have a good time and you are engaging in a lot of sexual activity just know understand the consequences that come with that I'm not telling you what to do. I'm not telling you how to live your life. You do what you want because you're a grown man. But we must be mindful of the consequences. You're getting it in with a thought or somebody who's been in the streets or somebody that you know deep down is no good for you. Understand the consequences. The moment you get her pregnant and then you end up not wanting her at all, ooh, she's gonna be very vindictive. Ooh, she's gonna really try you. And I see this happen to so many dudes, so many dudes. And me personally, I truly advise that guys don't get women pregnant early on, especially in their 20s. That will hurt you so much, gentlemen. And getting these bitter baby mamas, you end up getting yourself in child support, you end up getting hurt, she ends up being vindictive, she ends up trying to keep the child away from you. And you get yourself in a position where you're just trying to fight to see your child. That's one of the worst things in the world for a man, for him to fight to see his child. He got to fight a court case just to see his seed. That's why you gentlemen need to stop being overly reckless with your sexual activities. You're shooting up the club, feels good, feels great. It feels amazing, but think about the consequences. See, God has blessed me because I made that mistake a couple times. But for some reason, God was like, nah, you're not ready to be a father yet because that's mm, not with this woman. And then when me and this woman ended, I was like, ooh, that makes sense. <laughs> that makes sense. One thing about me, gentlemen, I'm not out here getting it in with anybody. Like I just don't just pipe anything. I'm very cautious with who I get it in with and who I even bring to my world, especially 
me, my world. I don't just smash anything just because the moment. We have to be cautious. I understand you want to have fun. I understand that you want to get your sexual frustration out and get it in and have a good time and her ass is fat the whole nine. But think about the after effect. And you, once you nut and you had that post nut clarity, you start to think, is this shit even worth it? Is this particular woman even worth it? That's what you got to think about, gentlemen. Is this woman worth it? Nine out of ten times, probably not. Gentlemen, honestly, out of maybe, I don't know, I'm not trying to sound graphic, but out of all the women I have had sex with, I would say maybe two were worth maybe being a potential good mom of my child. Two. But the rest, no, nope. it would have been a nightmare just thinking about it. Me personally, I'm just not out here skeeting everybody. And then you look back and think, man, this chick is gonna potentially ruin my life. And that's what we got to take in consideration, gentlemen. We have to be cautious with that. Gentlemen, please be cautious, man, of who you get pregnant, because this is an ongoing issue, especially amongst black men. Oh my gosh. So many of us get caught up in these situations. Having a baby mama, child support, custody battles. That's one of the most grueling aspects of life that you don't want to be a part of as a man. You end up switching up. And I'm not saying that vetting is the 100% answer, but it works most of the time. A lot of us pick these women based off emotion, how we feel because of this love, this Disney Channel channel fairy tale villain but not actually looking at who this woman truly is and what kind of family background she comes from discussing traumas discussing her non-negotiables and all these different things we have to have those conversations we got to have those hardcore conversations with these women gentlemen before you conceive gentlemen you got to have those hardcore conversations because if you don't have those hardcore conversations you're going to deal with a lot you're going to deal with a whole lot. And family law is one of the most grueling things that a man can ever deal with because just to let you know, men never win in court when it comes to family law. We rarely win. Definitely fight for, of course fight, but it's a grueling battle. You have to be strong, you have to be smart and be cautious for who you get pregnant, gentlemen. All right. Gentlemen, if you find any value in this video, don't forget to like, comment, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Also, check out my weekly Patreon for more exclusive content. Thank you, and tune in for more from Jay the Professor.